Welcome to Redefining Medicine, an intimate and personalized program that illustrates a different side of the practice of medicine. Our in-depth conversations will focus on the physicians and practitioners who are redefining medicine through their integrative, functional, and holistic approach to health and well-being. Welcome to our weekly podcast, Redefining Medicine. We are so happy to welcome Dr. Kent Holtor. Dr. Holtor is a leading medical expert in the treatment of hypothyroidism, complex endocrine dysfunction, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, and chronic infectious diseases, including Lyme disease and chronic viral illnesses. Thank you so much for being with us today, Dr. Holtor. Oh, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Let's begin. What first drew you to the study of medicine? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. And I was, you know, standard, trained physician, very evidence-based. I'm still very evidence-based. And going through medical school and residency, I started getting very sick. Just, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so fatigued, but I can't sleep, I can't concentrate. Seeing a patient was just so tiring to me. I'm like, I don't think I can do this. And I went to all the university doctors, like, oh yeah, it's just stress and you're depressed. I'm like, I'm not depressed, there's something wrong. And oh, here's, you know, some antidepressants. I'm like, of course I didn't do anything because it wasn't depression. And, uh, and so I'm like, I gotta get, get out of medicine. Um, uh, started a beer company uh, and we did a hangover free beer, double blind placebo controlled studies and brought it out and immediately Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms said, can't make a hangover-free beer. It's, uh, it's, you can't make a healthy beer. And then we made an energy beer. First, there's no energy beers before the craft beer stuff. And uh, people are like, why do I want an energy beer? And, but so at the time, there were no energy drinks or anything. And uh, it was before craft beer, so no one would pay more than $5 a six-pack. It cost us seven to make. So the business model was <laughs> kind of screwed up. We tried to make it up in volume, but... <laughs> that didn't work, but we won a bronze in the World Beer Cup, silver in the World Beer Championships. But so we kind of end, ended that. But um, so I'm like, do I, you know, can I go and do medicine? So I figured, okay, what, you know, talking to a patient so tiring. Let me go into anesthesia. You don't have to talk to them, they're asleep, right? But I forgot about, you gotta get up really early. And so I was doing that, and I'm just like, I, I can't function. And then so I started thinking about going to, let me go to these alternative conferences, which was ingrained, don't go to alternative conferences. Alternative means no evidence, right? And so I go, and I'm like, wait a minute. This is more evidence-based than what they're teaching me in residency. Um, and then, so I did essentially, um, high dose T3 and changed my life. And I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, I feel so much better. And, uh, and then got out of anesthesia and went to family practice and opened up a center, you know, doing integrative stuff with, you know, treating thyroid with normal levels and converted a family practice was all, all insurance to cash and just waiting line, you know, with no advertising. Um, and then ended up uh, getting a divorce. And uh, uh, I hired a person who basically it doesn't have to be nasty. And my ex hired Gloria Allred. <laughs> so I got destroyed. And all of a sudden, I was just bed bound, sweating, horrible. And I knew what it was. You know, it was Lyme, Babesia, Bartonella. Um, oh, it, it was terrible. Then I went into heart failure. And uh, I couldn't stand up straight. I couldn't, it would take me two hours to walk up a flight of stairs. And the cardiologist says, well, you got a lot of damage. Maybe in 10 years, you can get 10%, 10 to 20% better in 10 years. I'm like, I can't live like this. And, you know, I just thought about offing myself. I mean, it's just, you know, the quality of life is, is so low. So I essentially said, okay, I'm going to go around the world and look for treatments for this, because I did three and a half years of highest dose IV antibiotics that I would never give a patient. Seven at a time, at three times the max dose, nothing, you know? And uh, and so I was in Europe, I tried a lot of things, Things, some things helped, you know, and uh, a lot of things didn't, but um, uh, found peptides. And all of a sudden I took them, wasn't expecting anything, and then about three days later, I'm like, 
I just walked up the damn stairs. And I'm like, holy, <laughs> holy crap. And, and so at that time, I couldn't bring them back to the States. I couldn't use them on patients, but was using it myself and just dramatic change. And uh, within probably three months, I was 50% better. Um, in six months, about 70. And after uh, a year or two, like basically back to normal. I was walking to the uh, cardiologist's office and he's like, what the heck, your echo's normal. And I'm like, yeah. Does he even ask what I was, what I took? No, doesn't care, you know. But uh, so then, started really incorporating that into the practice as a, as a core of therapy, and really found, you know, peptides have changed so many patients' lives, changed my life, and has made it much easier to treat these really complex patients. So, we're, you know, for good or for bad, we get the patients that have been everywhere. You know, huge, huge stacks, you know, of, of charts and things. Um, but it's it's added an extra tool that's really been so helpful. It's transformed our practice. And people that we train transform the, their practice as well. It made these super complex patients much easier. And so, you know, what is a peptide? Well, a peptide is a chain of amino acids. And just arbitrarily, if it's less than 50 amino acids, it's a peptide. If it's longer, it's a protein. So they're naturally in your body. Uh, they're produced, and they're an X. We used to think, you know, hormones kind of control everything. But the peptides are basically signaling molecules that do the fine tuning. And they're much more tissue specific, and you get the immune system, the cognitive function, you know, basically gut, whatever it may be. Um, they're much more precise than hormones. Uh, you know, they all go together, but uh, it's, it's a nice way to be able another layer of control. You will be speaking during Peptides Module 1, taking place the weekend of this podcast episode's recording. For those who have been unable to attend in person, will you provide a preview on the presentations you are leading? Yeah, well, with the peptide, I'm honored to be a part of the peptide certification, and Jim Laval is just awesome. Uh, great, great to work with, and uh, so many pearls and, and so much great information. And as I mentioned, you know, peptides changed my life, they've changed my practice, they've changed so many people's practice that learn uh, peptides. Um, and what I'm speaking about uh, uh, for this lecture is about treating hypothyroidism, which is another passion of mine. And we have a nonprofit, National Academy of Hypothyroidism, um, which really provides doctors and patients new information, showing the way we practice, we diagnose and treat hypothyroidism in this country is wrong. And the TSH is inaccurate. Anyone who's sick, any inflammation, aging, any chronic illness, stress, and so a huge percent of the population, it's missing people that would benefit from thyroid. But we're finding that giving thyroid is great, especially T3. You, you can build a practice by doing that well, easily. Um, but they found that they all have immune dysfunction. If you fix that immune dysfunction with peptides, they actually even feel better than if you give them thyroid. Now, if you do both, even better. So that, that's kind of the core of the uh, lecture, and then also just talking about a number of different peptides as well. Hey there, listeners. It's your host of the weekly podcast, Redefining Medicine. I have a question for you. How much time do you spend ordering functional lab tests for your patients? Ordering from multiple lab companies for hundreds of patients can quickly turn into hours of admin time. But there's a new way to order lab tests that I'm excited to share with you. Rupa Health is a tool that lets you order 20 plus specialty labs in a single portal. You can order all tests you normally do from companies like Dutch, Vibrant, Genova, and Great Plains, and so many more. Imagine you're ordering a hormone panel for a patient that includes tests from three different labs. You have to log into three different websites to place separate orders and then come back weeks later to check tracking number and download results. Rupa eliminates all of that by having all ordering, tracking, and results in a single place. And they also handle invoices, tracking shipments, automated follow-ups, personalized instructions for completing tests, and so much more. 
The best part about Rupa, it's free for all practitioners. Go to rupahealth.com, that's R-U-P-A health.com to join a live demo or sign up to see how it works. Now let's get back to today's show. Tell us about your medical practice, the Holtorf Medical Group. What challenges and wins have you experienced as a medical director and CEO in the past two years where many private practices have struggled? Yeah, you know, um, medicine is tough uh, in, in a business sense, especially in California. But um, 15 or 20 years ago, we, you know, we opened 22 centers. It was a, it happened to uh, be this healthcare entrepreneur, a terrible fibromyalgia, went around the country um, basically looking for treatment from the experts and just terrible treatments. And he's, he saw something I wrote, came in, within two visits, he's dramatically better. So he said, we need, we can't, you know, let this be a hidden seeker. We got to bring this out to, to the public. So we opened 22 centers and I got a taste of corporate medicine. So they got investors and all of a sudden I'm um, in board meetings and, uh, and they're saying, we should do this, this. I'm like, no, 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 no. It, this is medicine. It's not, you know, a, a uh, department store. And they're like, you're a doctor. I'm, I'm a Harvard MBA. And I'm just like okay, this is going the wrong way, you know? And, and then, so I left, and then, you know, long story short, they just were going down the wrong path and, and ended up uh, crashing. But, uh, and then I found, and trying to manage other doctors' practices is very frustrating. But we opened nine franchises. The first franchise was uh, bought by a hospital, um, and just, it just like took off, and, but, I'm one of my, you know, everyone has skills. Management is not one of my skills, not something I like to do, but managing another doctor's practice is very, very difficult. So we kind of, uh, we opened nine and immediately said, oh, let's shrink it back down. So we let them buy out or you know, sell. Um, and uh, so now we just have our uh, one corporate center and then one franchise left that doesn't uh, need too much work. but. Uh, it's, it's interesting because a lot of doctors want to get really big and they go, wait a minute, I want to go back to being small. But so we have one, one center, five doctors. Um, and, uh, I think a key is one, if you want to build your practice, learn how to do T3, peptides, ozone, those three things, you will have people banging down your doors, but, uh, you also have to really keep cutting edge because, you know, things in medicine, standard medicine, move very slowly. In integrated medicine, functional medicine, they move very quickly. So you always have to be innovating and, uh, and so I love starting things and we've started a number of new businesses and we're starting um, IND approved, you know, FDA approved trials on, on some things. So, uh, you know, doing research is always exciting for me. And, I guess very much a nerd. Uh, you know, I'll be reading studies and then all of a sudden I know I have to go to work and all of a sudden the sun comes up, you know. And, uh, and so I'm like, oh, shoot. But, uh, and so this is stuff, stuff I love and I think I have the worst because I did Lyme my whole life. You know, my, uh, growing up, my left arm, my left arm would stop working or half my body would be you know, sweating, the other half freezing. And so I, I know my whole family had it. Um, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it, 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 it's been really gratifying to uh, be able to treat these conditions that doctors discount because they, they can't treat it. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Holtor, for spending time mm -hmm. with us today, sharing your story, your insights, and your expertise. We truly appreciate you. Well, thank you. And thank you for your organization. And I think you, you, know, you guys are the uh, gold standard of uh, education in this, in this arena. So I, my thanks goes to you. Thank you. And thank you to all of our listeners for tuning in. Until next time. Mm -hmm.